Welcome. In this VirtuSurf tutorial video, you will learn how to open a scan project, connect VirtuSurf with AutoCAD LT, use scan data for drawing layout plans and elevations inside AutoCAD LT, import additional command macros, and edit macro templates to adopt them for your own needs. So, uh, AutoCAD LT itself doesn't have any point cloud engine, so we are using VirtuSurf to provide uh, the measurements we need for creating the plans from laser scan data. So on the left hand side you see the VirtuSurf software opened and on the right hand side we have AutoCAD LT. I will open now a project in VirtuSurf with about 20, more, more than 20 scans. Um, you have a scan map down there and the project explorer up here. Uh, let me just open a few of the scans by right clicking true color or selecting more than one scan and right click or by double clicking a scan. So here we have um, different rooms in the building <coughs> and I like to draw um, layout plan first. Um, to connect to AutoCAD all I'll need to do is click on this button send command macros to AutoCAD LT and what you can see here are the macros which are provided when you install uh, VirtuServe. So we have a macro for drawing 3D polylines for drawing 3D lines in AutoCAD for sending 3D coordinates or 2D coordinates and we can also send an enter escape or an undo to the software um, AutoCAD LT and we can create user coordinate system by three points and switch to the plan view or zoom to extends. Those are the predefined macros which you already have when <coughs> you install WordGSurf. In order to draw a line on a certain layer I first um, go in here check if the correct layer is enabled and then back in VirtuServe I just run the draw line command over here and now it's pretty easy to follow the lines in VirtuServe and uh, over here just pick two points on each wall Zoom in here, pick one here, no one there, down here, and the, the wall is straight so I can zoom over here and as it's a planner view, sometimes I have to zoom out a little bit further, go in here, pick a point here, pick another point there, and one here, and then I do a right click to close the line. If I just click escape um, it's finishing the line command without uh, closing the gap. So right click closes. You can see the CL down here which is the close um, option over there. So this is how um, VirtuSurf talks to um, AutoCAD LT basically and yes of course if you don't want if you don't want the lines be in 3D. Uh, let me show you that those lines are in 3D. Let me um, show you the properties over here. And you can see that the starting point has a different um, Z coordinate than the end point has. So um, what we are creating over here in uh, AutoCAD LT are 3D lines. You know AutoCAD LT doesn't have an orbit so I cannot orbit to, to show you. Um, if you want to create straight corners with AutoCAD, of course, let me close the properties here, you can go in here and say fill it and if we do it with a radius 0 we just pick two lines uh, and they need to be coplanar so what we do is we put them on all on the same level 
So I select them all and go to the properties. Zero. And zero once more. OK. So this is it. So mainly we have them on the same level now, and now the fillet command should work. So let me pick those two lines over here, repeat the command, repeat it again, and once more over here. Then I can zoom in and so on and so forth, cleaning the drawing by doing so. Oops. So let me just do the fillet once more. This one and this one. Okay. So now we have the outline of our room as a 2D plan created by picking points in the laser scan data. If we don't need 3D coordinates, we can uh, change the macro, edit the macro and change this 3 to a 2. Or uh, what you can also do is go to the examples website, download the uh, macros for 2D drawing and import them here. So um, I will go to import macros because I already downloaded these macros and um, and those macros are for 3, 2D drawing plans or elevations. If I open this you can see um, we have prepared macros like 2D line, 2D polyline, etc. So all I need to do is import them all, say OK, and I'll have them here in my AutoCAD macros bar. So the next room, uh, for the next room, I will just switch to the second scan. And instead of drawing a 3D line, I will just draw a 2D line. I'll show you the macro once more. So here there is a 2D. OK. And um, so I will press the macro button, 2D line, and you see in AutoCAD the line command has been started. And now only 2D coordinates are send, sent to AutoCAD LT. And all I need to do is zoom in and out to start drawing the lines. So I will again pick one point here, again two points on every wall. Go down here into the corner and around it. And I will not close, I will press Escape to end the drawing. I can zoom to extents to have it all on my face. And now I will just once more draw a 2D line to get the front over here and the rest we can just do by um, by construction inside AutoCAD LT. Of course I can also draw lines for for the doors to help me draw, constructing and drawing the doors inside AutoCAD. Let me just um, to let me draw the door on a separate layer. Switch to door then. Go in here and again I will just draw a 2D line from here to there and this will enable me to draw the door in there. Uh, another thing, let me just escape. Same can be done 
over here or switching back to this um, scan I can just draw another line in here from here to there so I can if I just then draw the plump lines to the wall lines I can um, create the door over here in AutoCAD LT so um, what you can also do if you have um, a drawing template containing blocks you can run the insert block command um, and then you can say OK and now Auto AutoCAD is waiting for a 2D or 3D coordinate. I want the 3D coordinate to insert the block. Um, I can insert it on the um, ceiling of the kitchen for instance. Switch back to the kitchen room and I can insert it on the ceiling or on the floor and then fill it in with the correct uh, numbers. So um, I will send a 2D coordinate to put in the uh, block inside the kitchen room. Now I'm asked for an, uh, for a height. I can go in here and measure the height and type it in. You can see horizontal distance, uh, vertical distance. We need the vertical distance so I go in here, copy it and paste it to that line. And here I've got the height of the room as a block. If you want to insert uh, another block, let's say um, here I have a block for a lamp. Okay, I can insert it on on the right elevation, sending the 3D coordinates, zooming in here. So this is the location where the lamp will be later on the block has been inserted right at that location. Let me check if in the other room there are also lamps but we have location for lamp over here so once more we go to AutoCAD, hit this command, say OK and then pick a point here. Of course I can always create uh, a special macro with a um, block template's name and uh, all AutoCAD commands can be run without the dialog in, in uh, command line mode so I'm always uh, able to create macros to insert the blocks without switching back and forth between AutoCAD LT and Virtusurf. So proceeding like this I can uh, finish the drawing later on. We can draw the stairs for instance. All I will do is um, going here and creating the stairs side back here and I will draw a line, picking here, picking the side over here, switch back to um, zoom to extends, then zoom to extends. So we have the stair side there and we just draw another line for the wall. Ah, we will refer switch to the wall layer first and draw another line over here for this wall goes from here to there pressing escape zooming to extends back to the stairs layer 2 
and we start drawing. Um, if we create a plan, we can again draw 2D lines. If we want to model 3D, we would draw 3D lines, but here we are drawing a layout plan, so it's sufficient to have the 2D lines. And so we just pick the fronts of the stairs clicking escape and repeating and if I just want to create a segment with um, just two points so I will just take segment so this, is, this is a segment drawing so I don't have to pick escape and restart the line command so I pick the segment um, macro and go just on every step so once I've started the segment command, I don't need to um, restart the line command again and again. Just go here, or escape it, just go in segment and follow these lines over here. Upward the stairs. And so on and so forth. So we've got the stairs there. In the same way we created this layout plan, you may also create a vertical section or an elevation um, of the building or of that uh, building level. So let me just close this drawing over here. No. And uh, switch back to the first room we had, or the second one, the first one. And uh, let me demonstrate how you can um, switch the user coordinate system to this particular wall. Um, you can use the UCS 3D points command, which we have, which we provide um, in VirtuSurf. All you need to do is run the macro and start picking points. First point is the origin of our coordinate system. The second point is for the uh, positive um, x-axis uh, or y-axis and the third point uh, will just be for the z or z direction. And now I just switch to the plan view can see we are now on the plan view of the new coordinate system. Let me check the layers. We don't want to draw stairs right now. We want to draw walls again. Walls. So we are on the walls layer now. And procedure is very similar to what we saw already. Um, with a layout plan, we just need to draw two lines, and the coordinates will be converted to um, to the user coordinate system. So we will draw two on each wall. One here. one at this end and the final one over there now we right click to close and we have the outline of that wall just need to make it nice once more using the modify command with the fillet. And we have the outline. Now we will just add the rectangle of the door. Quite simple. We are still in 2D coordinates, so we are still drawing 2D, and all we need to have is the 
diagonal of the door over here and select it and put it to the correct layer doors layer so we have a door here and of course we can once more insert blocks let's take the lamp block again sorry switch over here this is where the lamp is going to be, so I'll send it in 3D or 2D coordinates. Put it in there. Do I have another lamp? Yes, I do. One, one is here, so I just enter once more. OK. Go to where you serve. Pick the point, and there's another lamp. So this is basically how you can create your uh, elevations. Of course we can add some more um, annotations and all these things in combination to, between Serve and AutoCAD LT. Now just for you to show you how a nearly finished uh, layout plan of this uh, building level might look like we show you this plan over here. Um, you can see we have the room height, the, the absolute height and the room height from floor to um, ceiling. We have added some annotations for the door width and the door height. We have completed and finished our stairs drawing very nicely. This is what I wanted to show you. Thanks for your attention and please also have a look at the other tutorial videos on our Qubit TV channel. Thank you.